Hey everybody, I'm here today to show you how to do a used car inspection. This is the first video within a series of videos to show you how to inspect a used car. And this first video, this part one of the series, is focused on the exterior of the car. Now let's get right to it. I'm going to turn the camera around and I'm going to tell you and show you a few things to look for. Alright, so first and foremost, you want to take a look at the suspension. Now you can do an in depth examination of the suspension but I would recommend just a quick check if you're just doing a quick once over with regards to looking at the exterior of the car now you want to make sure that the car is parked on a level surface you want to stand a decent length away from it so right now I'm probably about 10 to 12 feet away from the car and you want to crouch down and look at whether or not the car is level now I'm looking at it from the front you also want to do this from both sides and the back and if the car is sagging to one side or the other then that's going to give you a good idea that you should look into the suspension further if you don't see any sagging and if it looks like the car is nice and and level then that's a good idea that you're most likely going to be okay with regards to the suspension uh, now it's not to say that there's a guarantee that nothing's going to be wrong but i'm just trying to say a quick look that's the easiest way to get a quick look now the next thing you want to look for is rust paint chips or dents so some of the key areas for rust are around the uh, around the wheels now the reason that rust tends to accumulate around these areas is simply because you know all of the mud and the dirt and the water and the snow and all that stuff gets kicked up around here and it usually sits here so you want to start by taking a look at all around the wheels and all along the sides the bottom of the sides and you can actually get down really low and look all around there and you really want to check for any rust spots you also want to look at you know any paint chips that you see and any significant dents now this is just a quick look we're not going to um, go and look for any dents um, more in depth just yet this is just a very very quick look you just want to walk around the car and take a look for any rust spots any paint chips and any dents now the next thing that you want to do is look at the angles of the car and when you look at the angles of the car that's going to give you a better idea for any dents that you missed uh, when you were just looking at the car and it's also going to give you a hint as to whether or not there's been any body work to the car so I'm not sure if you can see this on the camera but if you look at this angle right over here right under the mirror there's actually a dent in that door and if we get a little closer it might be a little bit easier to see but there's actually a dent in the door it's right here I'm not sure if you can see this on the camera but there's a dent right there and also looking at the angles of the car are gonna allow you to see um, whether or not it's wavy because if there's been body work done to the car and the person who did the body work didn't do a great job then you're gonna see some serious waves it should look very very smooth okay and this will also tell you um, if the if the car has likely had any damages to it that the person uh, that's selling the car has not told you about the next thing that you want to look at is the windshield now for the windshield both the front and the back I mean it's more in, the front is more crucial because this is where the chips are likely to happen but you want to look at the back as well but you're just looking for any chips any cracks or anything that looks like it might be starting to crack soon and what you want to do is just look all along the windshield really look along the windshield to see if you see any dents or any cracks or anything like that I'm sorry, I actually have a, a paper with some notes over here, so I'm just using it to guide the video. The next thing you want to do is look at all of the lights. And when you look at the lights, you want to make sure that they don't have any cracks either. So I would be actually looking at all of the lights, looking for any cracks, and you also want to make sure that they work. So, you know, you either want to um, bring a friend along with you or ask the owner of the car to just go ahead and turn on the lights, turn on the signals, turn on the tail lights, turn on the reverse lights, and make sure that they all are functioning properly that they look like they're working properly and also make sure that there aren't any cracks and I mean I, I would recommend looking at all the lights don't miss any lights like the trunk light over here or spoiler light or the side markers you really want to make sure that you're getting all of the lights uh, because it will really it will really really help you if you see all of the lights the next thing is that you want to actually check out the doors okay so you want to actually open and close all of the doors now what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna unlock the car because it's locked right now but you want to make sure that they all open and close so you want to just go through open and close all of the doors 
If it's a four-door car, then obviously you're going to be doing this with four doors. If it's a two-door car, then obviously you're going to be doing it with two doors. But just open and close all of the doors like that. And what I would recommend is lock the doors as well. So I'm going to lock the car right now. Okay. And then just make sure that all of the doors indeed lock. And these are things that, you know, you can buy a used car, and if you don't do these little checks, then, you know, you might be left with a surprise because the actual doors don't lock or don't unlock or don't work properly. And last but not least, with regards to the exterior, what you do want to look at is the tires. So first and foremost, look at how much tread is left on the tire. So just get down, crouch down, and look at those tires. You want to look for how much tread is left because if you are going to need new tires then you know it's fine but you should know that that's going to be an added cost when you buy the tires when you buy the car and also you're going to look for even tread wear so you want to make sure that the tires are nice and even with regards to the tread wear here's a little trick for the front tires because it's hard to see these what you want to do is you want to turn the steering wheel start the car so you get the power steering and turn the steering wheel all the way to one direction so if i took the steering wheel and i turned it all the way to the left this tire would turn out this way and i'd be able to see all of the tread on the tire then if i took the steering wheel and turned it all the way to the right i would be able to get this tire to sort of kick out this way and I'd be able to see all of the tread there. And that's basically it. In this video, I have shown you how to do a used car inspection. Once again, this is just the first video within a series of videos um, with regards to how to do used car inspection. This was just the exterior and in the future videos, you'll be able to see the other aspects of doing a used car inspection. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below as a comment. And of course, be sure to subscribe for more great car and driving videos just like this one. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.